Right everyone, welcome back. So in this part we are going to look at the Andalusian cadence using some simple arpeggios. I understand the one I did in the beginning was not so simple in the introduction video. But yeah, I'm going to start off with something really really basic and then take it all over from there. Right, so in the process of teaching you these simple arpeggios and then we are going to go forward from there and there on. You're going to learn a lot about phrasing. You're going to learn a lot about time signatures. And last but not least, you're going to play a melody which I composed. And I've composed the melody or the riff with both my hands. So a lot about these arpeggio patterns over the Andalusian cadence will use both your hands to make the arpeggio. And uh, to our luck, both the hands are going to be in one position. They're not going to go... I've done a few other videos on where we do runs and fills and whatnot. If you'd like, you could check those out. So, the first basic arpeggio pattern we're going to learn will be on the 4x4 four four signature and on the 3x4 signature, the most common signatures in life. So, if you take the same Andalusian chords, this is how I'm playing the basic pattern. So... I play D and F, the first two notes of the chord, D minor, and then I'm playing the remaining notes as the inversion. So I do D, F, A, D, F. Okay, you want to get a hold on that first. D, F, A, D, F. Then C, E, G, C, E. B flat, D, F, B flat, D. A, C sharp, E, A, C sharp or A, C sharp, E, G, C sharp if you like the dominant seventh one more time okay this is itself quite a nice pattern so you go one and two and three or one E and a two E and a three E and start with that so you see, I've just gone all the way up. I can now go up and down. Now you can, when you go down, there are two permutations. You can go. You can do that. One E and a two E and a. So you F A D. So it's always an arpeggio created with both our hands. Okay. You can even do just go up and down or so those last three notes I'd leave to you, you know how you wanna actually frame it, but I'm I'm going with I like this the most. F A D, so you're repeating this and you're holding the pinky as much as possible. D F A D F F A D C E G C E E G C B flat D F B flat D flat D F B flat A C sharp E G C sharp E G C sharp or E C sharp E G. So the last three notes could just be linear from somewhere in the middle. That's the pattern. Slowly. Now this is all over. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. You could say four by four. Now how do I make this three by four? I could do one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Three, one, two. Just by reducing two beats. See? One, two, three, one and two and three. One, two, two. And two and three and three and two, two. one e, two e, one e, and two e, one and two and three and one and two. And so you can pretty much use this technique to play arpeggios on whatever time signature. Let's take another one. Let's take five. One e, one e and a five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But five is strangely easy because you just go all the way up and it adds up to five. Okay, 
consider tata you could also consider seven one two three four five six seven one two three Three four five six seven one two three four five six seven three four five six seven and repeat and repeat okay and with with uh, a seven or any feel you can also think of it from a melodic perspective let's say you wanted to go. Maybe I wanted to do that um, in thirds. Let's do that again. Quite like that. One and two and three and seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very slowly. Arpeggio with something melodic. Ta ra ra. Tum pum pum. One two three four. So the one two three four is the arpeggio of D minor. Then ta ri ri. Ta ri. Just adding that little melodic flavor, ending on a non chord tone, which is E. This will be notated for you, so do see the notation. One, two, but it's on a seven by eight signature, isn't it? Now you can also, well, what I've ended up composing with this, instead of doing, I did very movie theme like, so I ended up. Dum pa da dum pum pa da. Pa pa pa, pum pa pa pa, pum pa pa pa. So, let me break that. Earlier we did. Now. Now, that's F G A. No. C E F G. So. And maybe with a staccato. Which I compose. So arpeggios, you start off with four by four. One two three four five. One two three. One two three four five. One two three three. That accent. Then we built it up to six and seven and five, and I also taught you a nice. Composition which I did on seven. Hope you found that useful, guys. Again, we've taken the Andalusian cadence, which is the D minor, C, B flat, A major, which is nothing but one minor, seven flat major, six flat major, and then the ending with the five dominant or the five major at the end. Okay, we have a lot more work to do on the Andalusian cadence. Let's move forward. <laughs>